been something special between you from the moment you met. You may not have been sure what it was at the time, but you were both right in thinking it was something that doesn't come around too often. Chloe, I knew from the moment I saw you that you were my forever. We've been inseparable since the first time we spoke at Persa and offered you my jacket because it was cold. Oh, that was cute! <laughs> this makes it sound worse. She took Watto's instead. <laughs> but since then, we've pretty much spoken every day, and nothing filled me with joy more getting closer to you and falling further and further in love with you. Saying from the day I met you and began to get to know you, I was instantly drawn to you and connected to you. It was a feeling that I have never experienced before. It was a feeling of protectiveness, warmth and attachment. I didn't know that we were going to fall in love, but I knew that I needed you to be part of my life. Stare into the distance. <laughs> you two have certainly come a long way as a couple since that very first date at St Kilda Beach where Chloe looked over at Zane as the sun was setting. In fact, the sun was pretty much completely set. And there he was, applying sunscreen. <laughs> Unlikely that in that moment she was thinking to herself, oh, that's my future husband right there. Yes, but it's like when Lou Lamonzi sings that. Lou Lamonzi! Oh, well, thanks. Lou Lamonzi! They're so tight. <laughs> but naturally, falling in love with you and knowing I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you came so easy. How are you? How are man? How are Ricky? It was only a matter of time before you would decide to lock this love down forever. So on Christmas Eve, Zane set his plan in motion, practically begging Chloe to come and see the progress on their house build, to which Chloe was refusing as she had been there already three days in a row without him and knew that there would be absolutely no more additional building occurring on Christmas Eve. But Zane was relentless and Chloe gave in. So as they arrived at their soon-to-be home, Zane ran off around the back, planted himself firmly on one knee on top of lots of very painful stones and just waited for Chloe to come around the corner. And she came around, and there was Zane on one knee, and she said, "Ew." <laughs> you did. <laughs> While smiling, of course. <laughs> Your breast smells like Doritos. Oh, I just had a chip of cheese on. <laughs> there he is. Round of applause for our groom, just to make him nice and nervous as he comes on down. Yay! Man of the hour. It's not time to go for a stroll. <laughs> Could be. Zane. To Chloe, you are the most beautiful soul she has ever known. You are a walking ray of sunshine, and she has never met anyone more kind, loving, and welcoming to everyone he encounters. <sighs> You're fucking I did. Yeah. A little blubber in there. Like, oh no. Chloe. Zane admires how determined, organised and dedicated you are. He loves your ability to break it down on the dance floor and that you are always having fun together. <laughs> Most of all, he loves that you light up every room that you walk into. Oh, We're just so proud of you. You've gone through your school years, went through your teenage years. No sooner you turn 18, you've got your licence, you're on your way, do your own thing. Now I'm lying in bed at night waiting for you to come home. 21, you become an adult, your hopes and dreams, they're shattered with a couple of dodgy boyfriends you come home with. And then along comes Zane, a quirky bloke. <laughs> so sorry for that one. He's a nice bloke. For those of you unaware, Zane's been one of my closest friends for the better part of 10 years now. I'm one of the reasons he has those dodgy stick figure tattoos on his ankles. Zane, I'd like to thank you. Thank you for being my best mate. Thank you for being the brother I never had. Zane's one of the most thoughtful, full of life, fun-loving guys I've ever had the pleasure of calling my friend. Just look at it. Hello, kid. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm so glad that he's found someone that can mirror his fun-loving personality so perfectly. Hey! Zane, you had one, you had one fucking job. You had one job. <laughs> I don't know how you got this girl. No idea, because he's that laid back, he's nearly going backwards. You are my best friend, my dance partner, the love of my life, and now my beautiful wife. I love you. I call upon the persons here present to witness that I, Chloe Catherine Rose Catala, take you. Stitch me up. 
I got halfway through that and I thought, wait a minute. Shit. <laughs> All right. Take two. I call upon the... Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, it doesn't have my name on it. Take three. I call upon the persons here present to witness that I, Zane Robert Grant White, take you, Chloe Catherine Rose Catella, to be my lawful wedded wife. I, Chloe Catherine Rose Catella, take you, Zane Robert Grant White, to be my lawful wedded husband. From this day forward, I am yours. My heart, my life, my love is yours. I promise to always laugh through life with you, dance like nobody is watching with you. I promise to always be your dance partner, your backup singer, and even take the lead when you're having an off day. You truly are the light of my life, and I feel so lucky every day that I have you as my partner in crime. I love you, Chloe, and I will continue to show my love each and every day. They say that love is forever, and your forever is all that I need. And you stole my line, but I'm going to say it anyway. They say that love is forever, and your forever is all that I need. It's all right.